relative rate of change of area of an equilateral triangle. Question is, the sides of an equilateral triangle decreases at the rate of 2 cm per second. At what rate is the area decreasing when the side is 10 cm? So we have a triangle here. So let me draw one triangle. And that is equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means all sides are equal. And let's assume the sides to be S. Now if S is the side of an equilateral triangle, then what is going to be the height? So well, the height will be, as you know, your special triangles are in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to square root 3. Or you can say, work out like this. If this is S, this is perpendicular, this side should be S by 2. And therefore, height can be written as equals to S square minus S over 2 whole square square root, correct? So you can find a relation between height and the side in this fashion. And this is square root of S square minus S square over 4 square root. And that gives you 4 S square minus S square over 4 square root. And that is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3. So square root 3 on the top divided by square root of 4 which is 2. And square root of S square will be S. So that is the relation, right? Now let's get back to the area. Now, area of a triangle will be area of triangle is half base times height so which is half and base in this case is s and height is h so instead of h I'll write square root 3 over 2 times s okay now so we can write down the formula for area which is 1 over 4 square root 3 s square that is what we get. Now it's given to us that sides of equilateral triangle are decreasing at the rate of 2 centimeters per second. That means ds over dt is equals to minus 2 centimeter per second. At what rate is area decreasing? So we need to find decrease in area dA over dt when the side is 10 centimeter. When side equals to 10 centimeters. So this is what we need to find. So let's differentiate both sides with respect to time. So therefore it is related rate of change, right? So we'll differentiate both sides with respect to times. That means we'll differentiate with respect to time. So when you do that, we get dA over dt equals to, this is a constant, square root 3 over 4 times 2 times s times ds dt, correct? So that is what you get. Now, we need to find rate of change of area when side is 10. So we can put s as 10 and ds dt we know is changing at the rate of minus 2 centimeters per second. Is it okay? So we'll put minus 2 centimeters per second for ds dt and then get the answer. So let's figure out what da dt is when s equals to 10. So in this equation, which is our equation number 1, for rate of change of area, we'll substitute the given values. So we have dA over dt when s equals to 10 is equals to square root 3. So we can simplify this, right? So this we get 2 here. So square root 3 over 2. s is 10 for us. So we'll write 10 here. And ds dt is given to us as minus 2, correct? So that gives us 2 and 2 will cancel. We get minus 10 square root 3. And the units will be centimeters per second. So that is our answer for this particular question, right? I hope you understand and appreciate how it is to be done. So first thing is, find a relation between area and side. Now, area is base into height. So most of you know, really, that the ratios in equilateral triangles are, if this is 2, this is 1, then this is square root of 3, right? That is kind of the ratio. So we could have got straight away what height should be in terms of s. Well, it is square root 3 over 2s. So you plug it in, get your relation, find the derivative, and substitute the values to get the answer. So minus here indicates that the area is decreasing, right? That's all it is to be done. Thank you.